Welcome to a special Living Room Requests featuring a marvellous composer called, well, called Maria Grever, or Griever, apparently, as many people called her. I don't really have anything to add to that, but if you like <gasps> wow. melodramatic music, you should stay tuned. <laughs> So this is Living Room Requests. So it is Living Room. With well, multi-instrumentalist Matt Redman. Hello there and welcome. And I'm singer. My name is Patricia Hammond. And this is Patricia Hammond's songs. There are many, many, many other of these concerts on this channel, as well as uh, old fashioned videos where we perform music to a seated indoor live audience next to each other. I know. It's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> but, but for now, we must thank uh, one of our greatest fans uh john for this request uh which is a triple bill of yes. mexican art music um immortalized in american movies and uh, by many many american popular song singers as well as english later english translations but uh we're going to sing them closer to i think you know their their composition yes maria griver apparently she studied with uh with debussy and um, she was very popular and they had a Google do Doodle earlier this year, but John made his request before the Google oh, Doodle, so knows. we know that that wasn't the prompt. <laughs> and she's not in my book, She Wrote the Songs. I think I need to write another book called She Wrote the Standards. Anyway, this one- That's a good one, yeah. The first one, because there are quite a few, quite a few. Um, so this one is uh, Hurame, Promise, Love. And it's actually, believe it or not, I found it in the Deanna Durbin, second Deanna Durbin album of favorite songs and arias. And um, so isn't that kind of nice? Deanna Durbin also did this one, as did many other people in countless tenors. And we're going to use this. That's Marvelous. Right. But like I say, this is living room requests and you can make your requests yes. in the description below. They don't have to be three songs, can just be one. They don't have to be Spanish. They can be any song you like. So, so here we thank go. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. I'll just tell you what the words mean. Oh yeah, go on then. Yes. So jurame means, you know, basically it, it, it means swear to me, you know. So swear your love. Translation of the lyrics. Um, this song is was written in 1926. And it says, of my love for you, they say that I'm lying because I never have they seen me so enamored. And I swear that I have never comprehended why it is your gaze for me that's so fascinating. When I'm near you, that's when I can be happy. I don't want you to remember any other. I'm jealous of each thought and every memory, memory that you might have for any past or future lover. <laughs> swear to me that how much time passes. So I'm not laughing now. It's true that you will not forget those glances when I first came knowingly. Look at me. There is no feeling more profound on earth than today. Oh, kiss me with an amorous kiss intensely, like no one else has ever kissed me since the day I came to be. Love just me, love me madly and insanely, and in that way you will know finally how I suffer so bitterly. mentira que te quiero porque nunca me habían visto enamorada yo te juro que yo misma no comprendo el por qué me fascina tu mirada cuando estoy cerca de ti estás contento no quisiera que te
Diana Durbin also do it. Um, I wrote to her once um, saying, you know, talking about these books and she said, they never contained my favorite songs. <laughs> and I wrote to her again saying, what were your favorite songs? And she said, you'll find your own, which is very interesting. It must mean that she had so many people writing to her saying, what should I like? Oh my God, yeah. So funny. Of course I'll find my own. People writing Heavens. to people. Now we're going to do... I suppose you tweet uh, people today and they'd be like, no, 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 I was just taking a picture of what I have for dinner. I haven't got time to talk about songs. <laughs> um, right now, I'd just like to say that if you do happen to like the melodramatic 1920s, 1930s tango upon the mezzo-soprano voice and the contra guitar, upon. we just have a video for you. It's, inside, it's entitled... Um, the song in it is entitled Zapuzno. It's a Polish tango, actually. Of Ooh, yes. uh, a similar ilk, but more Polish and um, more uh, passion. Yeah, it's, it's a different. It's passion uh, expressed regret. in a slight regret, regret um, passionate regret, or regret something. Regret that it's died. That there's no more passion. There we go. Whereas this is passion that is sort of like, oh, well, but yeah, what you heard. You know, there's a lot of variation to be found on Patricia Hammond's songs and. As well as obviously English songs, uh, you and know, on his channel. you're gonna hear French and German, uh, Italian, and you know some Neapolitan dialects of that, uh, or language you should say, Spanish, you know, maybe even Portuguese. There's also Welsh, definitely Welsh. There's, There's Welsh. definitely Gaelic or Gaelic. Uh, that's definitely happened. Um, you know, we're gonna sing a song in Latin coming up very soon. Um, there might be some oh, yes. already. Yeah, there is. There is some already because you've got Ave, Ave Maria and things like that. Um, and then Polish language, as I just mentioned in our collaborative video with Urek Forty Six Pink. So um, we've, we've. I think we've done the most famous Russian folk melody there is. But um, have we done any Russian songs in Living Room Request? Yet? Not yet. Russian so, language so ask songs. for them. We have done Russian composed songs, but we sang that in French. So there's a lot of languages to, make to be sung. Uh, in art music or popular music so you know bring it on speaking of languages um, this one is most well known in English but we're going to do it how Maria Greve wrote it um, she wrote her own words and her own um, melodies as well they were so popular so this one that one was you just heard was from 1926 this one's from 1935 it's more mellow sort of uh, um, cuando vuelva a tu lado or um it's uh you know do you remember 
it's it's kind of um, <laughs> when I come back to your side. Um, but it, it's kind of um, it's known as what a difference a day makes, which is a pretty good song. But I I quite like this original, and it also has a wonderful verse. Recuerdas aquel beso en que... Uh, do you remember that kiss that you jokingly denied me? She slipped from your lips unintentionally. Scared by it, I look for shelter in the immense bitterness of my being. We're bitter again. Um, when you, I come back to your side, don't deny me your kisses, that the love that I have given you, you will not be able to forget. Don't ask me anything, that I have nothing to explain to you, that the kiss that you denied, you can't give it anymore. When I come back at your side... And you are alone with me. The things that I tell you never repeat out of compassion. Join your lip to mine and hold me in your arms and count to the beats of our Well, I say to you a lot, a lot, me a lot of times have title in it. And um, if you're interested in this sort of thing, there is Patricia's book. She wrote the songs about uh, women parlor, uh, parlor song composers and, uh, you know, the CD yes. that accompanies that. She, she recorded uh, with Andrea on the piano. So all I'm saying is, there's a lot to check out in this vein. And just like everything else, there's a link in the description to this video. And also you can leave comments about Maria Grever. I think that would be lovely if people could write underneath. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, because we that's how we learn a lot, what people leave. So here we go. And Matt's playing a, a retune. I've tuned it down, so I was hoping string. it sounds a bit more like a Bach Sect or something like that. And how are Actually, we... I'm going to say more specifically yeah. a Bacha Quin, uh, what if it's called Quinto, yeah. Okay. What, what, how No, we just we repeat it, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Right, here we go. <laughs> Escapó de tus labios sin querer Asustado por ello busco abrigo En la inmensa amargura de mi ser Cuando vuelva tu Besos, que el amor que te he dado no podrás olvidar. No me preguntes nada, que nada he de explicarte. El beso que
hear it in English again. Having said that, if you'd like to hear any of these in their English incarnations, 33 pounds will get you just that. Um, link in the description if you want to request any song actually, but if you're going, you know what, want to hear that as what a difference a day makes, please, we'll do that. Um, now that this, round yes indeed, this is our last one of this wonderful Maria Grever trio. Trio of songs. Um, I need. Oh no! But oh, I need. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not so fast. There you go. All right. Now we're going to position. Oh, go <laughs> we're going to position this so that Matt can you actually the see song. the music instead of having to look through oh. these two pairs of harp strings. I just realised recently that the cross strung harp. The reason why I struggle sometimes oh. is because. Um, couldn't be because it's his 50th it's all instrument. all of the different strings like this. And when the background's complicated, complex background, it doesn't work. So when it's like a solid colour on that side, it's still hard, but it's easier. Um, this is another loungy one. This is from 1929, so just between the, uh, the, the, the last two you heard. Te quiero dijiste, or as it's known in English, magic is the moonlight. Yeah, it is, yeah. Sorry, I must stop hitting the microphone. I'm not very professional. <laughs> Dear me. Right, magic is the moonlight, magic yes. Is the moonlight. But, uh, I mean, is but that really what it's about? No, or not we're gonna, really? well, no, in fact, yeah, again, um, words and music by Maria Grever. And absolutely gorgeous. I love you, you said, taking my hands into your little ivory ones and I felt a lot of those weird likening you know ivory skin ruby lips and stuff that if you took literally would be very creepy well Mexican they, you know well, that was a common anything sort European of... like any kind of fairy tales like it's always like you know weird things your nails of jade I don't know what anyway <laughs> um <laughs> A very strong beat I felt in my heart. Afterwards, a sigh and then the snap of a feverish kiss. Beautiful little doll again. You wouldn't want a real doll, would you? No, 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 no. But anyway, whatever. With golden hair, pearly t teeth of pearls and ruby lips. Tell me if you love me the way I adore you. If you remember me as I remember you. And at times I hear a divine echo that wrapped up in the breeze feels as if it said, Yes, I love you so much, so much, so much. As much as in those days, forever, until death. I mean, you, you will notice a lot of sig simple... Si I'll start that sentence again. You will notice a lot of similar uh, ways that she writes the melody, the way mm. that she uses the lyrics, and also uh, the way that the harmony and the structure of the song, particularly before the I chorus... Yeah, to, I mean, notice they're, they're, it. They're, so I think I think I think songs. even people who aren't composers and arrangers will be able comment to pick below. out some. Put, comment below if you can tell that they're by the same person, and what about it? Other than the fact that they're all in Spanish. Spanish yeah. <laughs> right. Thank you, John, for bringing my attention to Maria Grever. I mean, I have to admit, I didn't know much about her, um, and I kind Grever. of left. How Grever. do they call her in English? Grever. Grever. What did they call her in English? I don't know. I, she pronounced it a few different ways, apparently, but. Um, she, yeah, um, she. I love this. She, she was very young. She got married to a very rich man. Basically, she got married to the best man at her sister's wedding. So, well done. Well done. They lived for, you know, together for the rest of their lives, happily in New York. Whether, whether or not, um, you know, it was a long relationship or not, she definitely studied music with uh, Debussy. Um, and, uh, well, in the original piano version of this, voice and piano, there's, there's definitely a hint to the way that the, the music's written, I, I think. I don't know if you can hear my dress. It's made out of denim. 
So it's very yeah. Keep it down. Very noisy. It's very noisy, but I really love it. It's by a London designer. Um, well, you should. Well, unless unless she's paid you, you shouldn't be telling them. Oh no, it's interesting. It's got pockets and everything. It's well made. I, I recommend her. Really fun stuff. Uh, well, take a picture and put your, it on Patricia's Instagram, and you can find it in the description below. It's Here great we go. Fun. If you wouldn't kindly put put that there for five yes. Seconds. No, we're just doing it straight through this. Yeah. Does it, yeah. But uh, just for just so I can read that. Yes, okay. indeed. definitely do that one again i mean i say that for a lot of them and gosh i hope i get an opportunity to that's great i loved i loved any uh spanish or mexican or south american song that goes mucho 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 well, not just mucho or not just mucho mucho but mucho 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 that's <laughs> that's great no these were lovely they, these would have been done as part of the tango tees back in the uh Day when tango just was so sensational it was a big trend in the 19, 1913 but then it kept coming yeah, back and there was. was another resurgence in the 20s and 30s yeah so, i mean it, it yeah. really really was it's uh, real tango tease territory rag, ragtime and tango did coincide a lot from from the late 1900s to the early 1910s if you look at the number of sheet music titles published and uh, you know what people performing in concerts you can definitely see that but uh, like Hawaiian, just like uh, Hawaiian music, and uh, I suppose like ragtime music itself, it did come back more than once, you know, to the fore of popularity, didn't it? I should point out, I keep meaning to point out that, you know, if you ever want to skip to the beginning of, of a, any song um, without the chat, if you want to come back and you're like, oh yeah, I've heard what they say, but I'd like to just get to the beginning of the song. There are chapters I've entered in every single living room request. If you pose your cursor over the very bottom of the actual video image you will see these little sort of lines these in little the pro, chunks in the red progress bar yeah you'll see little chunks and that means and and there'll be a little 
words saying what what the title is. You and can so just you skip can go to the, the next yeah, one. Yeah, you can skip to the beginning of each one, whichever one. Although you want. anybody staying this far in the concert is probably not going to yeah. be skipping. But you can tell your friends if they do want to skip. You're like, and, they talk uh, too much. Uh, yeah. Send them the links yeah. and press like and subscribe Thank down you. there if you haven't done. Um, because we there's just it. so many more coming, very thankfully. Much. We're we very rejoice. grateful. Thanks so Every much. Every single one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.